Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to have a steak party for Christmas Eve. <laughs> I've never done that before. It's something that I decided to do, or Mrs. Alaska Prepper and I decided to do because we love Tommy G's steaks so much that we're like, why don't we do something every Christmas Eve where we have a steak party and have different cuts of meat just to try. So this year we're inviting a very good friend over to our Christmas Eve steak party and I wanted to take you along to do a little bit of shopping. Now Little Miss Alaska Prepper wants to make her famous pasta salad. So we're gonna have pasta salad and steak for our steak party. And uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and head over to Fred Meyers. Haven't really been at Fred Meyers for a while, but I know that they're open at this time of the day. It's about 8.50 in the morning right now. As you can see, it's still pretty pitch dark outside. We don't have that much of a moon uh, tonight or this morning to give us light. So it's still pretty pitch dark. So like I said, we're gonna head over to Fred Meyers to uh, get some of the ingredients that we need. Then we're gonna head on over to Tommy G's and we're gonna head on over to Costco's to pick something up for a friend. And by the way, somebody asked me a while back, they saw that I have a small light bar in the front of my truck and they asked me if it makes a big difference at night. Now right now I have my regular headlights on and the small light bar only comes on when I put on my high beam. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the difference between my regular headlights and my high beams with the small bar that's in between my headlights and the front bumper. So here's my regular headlights, and that's my high beam right there. It makes a pretty good difference. It has a really long throw. See how far you can see? And that little light bar was a very inexpensive one that I got from Amazon. However, I decided that for plowing, I'm gonna need something that's a little more heavy duty. So I went ahead and ordered a pretty nice light bar for my plow truck, for the Alaska Prepper Homesteader slash Prepper truck. <laughs> and uh, I'm actually making a few upgrades to that truck. And uh, when they're done, I'll be doing a video on that to show you because I'm pretty excited about it. All right, let's head on over to Fred Myers and see what troubles we can get ourselves into. We're headed into Fred Meyer here. And let me tell you what, I stopped at the coffee shop that's across from my favorite gas station and uh, somebody paid for my coffee. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So ladies and gentlemen, the Christmas spirit is in the air. And I think I'm lost. I almost never come here. So we're gonna have to go up and down each other. Oh, look at this. They have the Ask Seen on TV section. Let me know how many of you stop at the Ask Seen on TV sections. You know you do. <laughs> And I just noticed that my wife wants me to pick up some kitty cat toys. I don't know why, because my kitty cat's got plenty of toys, but this is all they've got here. Man, I just find it hard spending money on kitty cat toys. <laughs> but let's see what we can find her. Oh, I know she'll like this one. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. You think she'll like that? Yep, let's get one of those. Oh, oh look at this mouse. Little mouse. We'll get her a little mouse. A mouse in cheap's clothing. <laughs> Let's see, is there anything else? Wait a minute here. There's four for the price of one. We'll get her those too. There you go. And after we get done here, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to head over to Costco. I'm planning on picking up one of those Duracell solar generators for Billy and D. That way they can use it for a backup on their Toyo stove like I use mine. And if they have several, I'm gonna pick up an extra one for myself so that I can use downstairs on the small Toyo stove that I have. I'll tell you what, I really do like those Duracell solar generators. They're a great unit for the price, especially if you're looking into an entry solar generator that doesn't really power a lot but it's pretty good quality at a pretty good price. 
And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and check out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to give you an idea, it is now 10 a.m. on the dot. It is 10 o'clock in the morning, and as you can see, it is just now starting to get a little bit light out, just barely. So it's not like we really get a lot of sun at all during the winter. What we get is something like this. It'll get a little lighter than this, but during this time of the year, the sun barely even breaches the skyline or the horizon, I guess you can call it. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen, I lost one of the lists that Mrs. Alaska Prepper gave me. So now I'm gonna have to try to remember off of memory what was on that list. I think I'm gonna make it, but I know I'm gonna forget one or two things. I think I'm in trouble. And look at these, ladies and gentlemen, 1999. You know what my wife told me the other day? We were here a few days, a couple of days ago, I think. And she go, she looks at these flashlights and she says, hey, do you need any more flashlights? With a smirk on her face. I was like, come on now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just did an elbow bump with one of the Alaska Prepper community members that uh, caught me here in Costco's. <laughs> uh, it's always awesome. You don't know what a blessing it is. And like I said, I've been so lucky that every single time that I've met one of our community members, they've always been nice people. So Sarah, if you watch this, it was very nice meeting you. Look at these, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. These things are huge. I definitely have to get one of these. Look at that though, $23 for six of them. But look at how pretty they are. It's going in the cart. And my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, it is hot today. It's like 15 degrees outside right now. But for some reason, every business I've been into puts their heat up so much. It's incredible. I don't remember where I parked. <laughs> so bad news. I went to Costco with the intentions of getting a gift for Billy and Dee. And what I was going to get them was one of those Duracell solar generators. Uh, but And I was going to get myself one too because I want to get one for the downstairs, for the Toyo that I have downstairs. But they are all out. So I'm going to go to Sportsman's Warehouse and I'm going to get the next best thing. I know that Billy and D, they go hunting a lot and fishing. I'm going to get them one of those really fancy uh, coolers that's like really nice and rugged. Uh, I'm not sure what their name is, but I know they have a couple different brands at Costco. I'm going to get them a nice big one. That way when they catch their next moose, they'll have a big cooler to put their meat in. All right, we are at Sportsman's Warehouse. They are open. This is our second to last stop. Our next stop, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be Tommy G's Butcher Shop. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I was thinking about getting Billy and D something like this. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Think this will be good enough for at least salmon fishing? Look at that. And look at how nice and thick the walls are. Now they have the Yeti here, but they only have the small ones the little ones but I think this one is very nice quality unconditional lifetime warranty as well so I'll have to get him a gift receipt all right let me see if I can load this on my car myself all right ladies and gentlemen we are at Tommy G's and when I come out I'll show you what I got all right ladies and gentlemen we are headed out when we get home I'm going to go ahead and show you my spoils and then hopefully you'll join us for our steak party the reason I really didn't record in there is because my phone is almost out of batteries and I still have to call my wife so that she can get ready. Today is our date lunch, so I have to call her so she can be ready for when I get home so we can go out to lunch. Well, ladies and gentlemen, finally made it back home. Let me go ahead and show you what the spoils are and I have to hurry because Mrs. Alaska Prepper is waiting so that we can go to our 
lunch date. And you know what? I think maybe I'll bring you along on our lunch date. Maybe Mrs. Alaska Prepper will make an appearance. Who knows? And as you can see, we went ahead and got the cooler for Billy and Dee. And I lucked out, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was a sportsman's warehouse. Check it out. They had the large butane canisters for the jet boil. Now, those are my favorite ones. They're the ones that work the best for the little camping stoves that I have that I use to heat my water for my coffee. And they also had some of the butane cans that go in that dual fuel stove that I reviewed here a while ago. So I ended up getting five of those and I ended up getting, I think it was what, seven. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of the jet boils. And of course the dogs got their treats. I had to pick up some cherry tomatoes also for the for the uh, pasta salad that Little Miss Alaska Prepper is making. And of course I had to get those pomegranates because they're beautiful. Along with all of the other little items that you saw me pick up at Fred Meyers. And can't forget about the dog food, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure that you're stocked up on those. One of these bags of dog food will probably last. This is a 40-pound bag. It'll probably last, I would say, about a good month and a half for both of our dogs. And reason being is because they do get a lot of treats. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally made it to lunch. And the name of this restaurant is Little Hole in the Wall that's next to Costco and it is called The Bakery. So if you wanna stop by just for some regular American food, nothing special, but the service is great. Come on by. This is Alaska Prepper, you wanna say hello? <laughs> say hello. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you that Mrs. Alaska Prepper is a social media atheist and that is about all you will ever get, all right? No, ladies and gentlemen, this is not Nutrient Survival. But it is going to be very tasty. And ladies and gentlemen, look at this. What is this? Where do you think I am right now? Who's that? Hey, everybody. <laughs> we are at Billy and D's having some cafecito. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you want to ask Billy what he's going to be doing tomorrow in my place? Well, I, it appears that I'm going to be eating a lot of beef. Could be That's beef. right. We're going to be having some prime beef from Tommy G's. Oh, yeah. So next time you see Billy, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to be stuffing his face with some prime, what is it, Black Angus beef. Black Angus. A1. I've been fasting now for the past two days. Oh, uh, well, not me, but I'm still going to eat some. <laughs> Here, ladies and gentlemen, are the stars of the show. I picked up four different cuts of meat from Tommy G's. There is a prime grade black Angus ribeye, a certified cut of filet mignon, a beautifully marbled prime porterhouse steak, and a couple of pork chops that look absolutely delicious. Now look at the marbling on that porterhouse. It is beautiful. All I'm doing for seasoning is sparkling a bit of pink Himalayan salt, a bit of black pepper, and some garlic powder. And then I'll be placing them in the fridge for several hours prior to taking them out and letting them rest at room temperature and then cooking them. The method of cooking that I'm using is a new kitchen gadget that I found that does a great job. And I'll be doing a review on that for you sometime this week. Billy, D, and Lass are about to get here, so we're going to go ahead and cover this up. That way they can use it as a coffee table and not even know that they're using their gift as a coffee table. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Look at who is in the AP household <laughs> drinking my cafecito. Hello. How's Hello. my cafecito, D? Super good. And look, at, <laughs> look, Karma found a new friend. <laughs> hey, everybody. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to eat. Oh, Billy, I haven't shown them the steaks yet. Nope. Well, let's go over there and check it out. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is a filet mignon. That's only a certified one, right? But this one is a prime Black Angus ribeye. And I seasoned it with some salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. That there is a porterhouse. And it is a prime as well. And uh, for those of you that don't know what a porterhouse is, it is the New York Strip side. This side is the New York Strip, and this side is a filet mignon. And then we also have a pork shop. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. 
I, I needed to show you this now before Billy gets over here. And Adam, you wanna you wanna appear on my YouTube video, my uh, steak party video, because I'm sure that a lot of my viewers have not seen a gentleman like you before. Yeah, go for now, it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is our friend Adam, and check this out. I wish I had some dramatic music. <laughs> look, look at that. <laughs> And Adam is a professional beard contestant, right? You yeah. enter a lot of professional beard yep. contests? Um, I competed 2017. I went to Worlds in Austin, Texas. If uh, things go well, 2023, Auckland, New Zealand for World Beard Mustache Championships. Awesome. And ladies and gentlemen, the biggest difference between Adam's beard and mine is that his doesn't have one gray hair. Oh no no forget it forget it Bi Billy Billy's beard is full of gray already Billy's ca Billy's catching up to me now All right well here help yourselves there's some plates forks I'll go with this There's some of that bread You do well done I need to find out what this is like I, I want I want to see what you guys think I haven't tasted it yet I'm going to get the end And this is a tasting party ladies and gentlemen the the, the steaks are just going to keep coming they're just gonna keep on coming here. There's more plates. Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, let's see how it cuts. All right, as you can look at that. Oh my goodness! We'll have to see how that ribeye comes out because that is a prime. Look at that. I think it came out perfectly cooked, didn't it? Let's give it a taste. Oh my goodness, it's delicious. It's really good. I love yeah. you and your Now, these are the ones that are a little uh, more rare, and these are a little more cooked. I'll do Depends. More cooked. They all look very nice. Oh my goodness. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the porterhouse, and it came out delicious. I mean, every piece of meat that we cooked from Tommy G's came out great. All right, last, what did you, what did you get? Oh my goodness! I only I told Santa Claus to only put a five dollar bill in there. <laughs> Last, what are you gonna do with all that money? I bet I know how much you wanna bet that I know. What? Oh my God! I was gonna save it. I thought he was gonna say I'm gonna buy a video game. <laughs> now Billy and D, everybody knows what you're getting already, except for you guys. Uh, yeah, well, it's nothing special, but look, it's actually, it's actually, um, uh, it's actually under this. <laughs> it's under the coffee table. So, D, you want to open it? This is actually a very boring present. It is. You'll see. What am I doing? Taking this off? Yeah. Just take it off. Oh Lord Jesus! Can you guys use that? Can we oh use yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe put some salmon in there. Hell yeah! And awesome. put uh, some the mousse in there. The tabs are on this side. Oh, okay. oh I can see a lot of things yeah. being inside. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how big it is. And I think there's more stuff for last in there. Uh oh! Look, last. Lash, you got more stuff in there. You can figure out what's yours and what's not. All right. I can't do it. I can't do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was our Christmas Eve party. I hope you enjoyed spending a little bit of time with us during this special time of the year. And now it's Christmas morning. And uh, it's just going to be myself, Mrs. Alaska Prepper, little Miss Alaska Prepper, Victor, and Brenna. And the little baby that's inside Brenna's belly. And of course, our puppies and the kitty cat so we're gonna go ahead and enjoy some family time now opening up some gifts spending some time together hope that you had a great Christmas many blessings to every single one of you God bless you all and Merry Christmas